Hello and welcome to another Yakuza 3 100% Trophy Guide video. And in today's video we're going to talk about the challenge matches. And as always we're going to read from Cyric Z's guide from Game FAQs. I'll link that in the description. And you will see me do match 1, uh, match 2 I think I start on this one. Yeah I start from match 2 and go all the way up to 10. Uh, number one's a simple running through um, Camarocho, so there's no issues really there. So we'll start with challenge match one. Uh, they are also known as the Proving Grounds. So, race from Tenkaichi Street to the Purgatory Entrance. S rank is less than 56 seconds. A simple run, but how to get there. I suggest cutting right at Tenkaichi Alley, up Namakichi. Northeast across a small part of Millennium Tower front lot and through the alley south of Bantam. Then turn north and go up Park Boulevard between Camry and Shifuku parking lot. Then straight on till morning. Round the corners wherever you can to cut milliseconds. The best time is 53 and a half seconds. So you need to be pretty sharp on that. Next one is challenge match two. So take out the enemies in as few hits as possible. S rank is less than 15 hits. Oh, 15 is nice, but can you name that tune in three notes? It's boring and tedious, but simply taunt. Keep away from the foes until you enter heat mode. Give yourself a little extra buffer and drag each of the three dudes over to the table and use the heat action on it. So that'll be the easiest way to get the S rank. Challenge match three. Follow the director's instructions. S rank is simply clearing all requests in five minutes. So here are the requests in order. Kamaki firearm flip. So build up your heat and press triangle near the gunman. Sly wolf. Build up your heat. Press left on the d-pad to pull out your knife. And then run towards the enemies and press triangle. Kamaki dragon king essence. Build up to red heat. Use a Kamaki parry to stun the dude and then like wait like a little second, step to so, sort of the side and press triangle because it, it, there's a little delay on that triangle bit there. Uh, essence of smoking, build up heat and press down on the d-pad, then triangle as someone approaches. So you throw your cigarette at him basically. Essence of Dagger Wall, build up your heat, pull out your knife again, press triangle while you and an enemy are near the wall. And Essence of Head Bashing, the final one, build up red heat, grab one of the white suited guys, not the big guy, press triangle near another enemy. And he will crack those heads off each other nice and fiercely. Next one is Challenge Match 4, follow the kid's orders. S rank is with one minute remaining. Here are the requests in order. Kamaki Tiger Drop. So hold R1 and press triangle just as an attack is about to land. Best move in Yakuza, generally. I suggest focusing on the masked wrestler for this, feels easier. Uh, double finishing blow. Press triangle twice at the end of a combo. Drop kit, run and press triangle. Kamaki Cat Light Reflexes, get knocked down and hammer X to get to your feet again. You'll have to wait for the blow for this to happen. Uh, Kamaki dodge shot, quick step, and then press triangle. Knockdown reversal, get knocked down and hammer triangle to strike back. True lotus flare fist, hold triangle until your stance changes, then release. Challenge match number five, defeat all enemies with a single attack. S rank is one minute 30 remaining. You get one strike on six enemies. Press right on the D-pad to pull out a staff. Circle move is a wide circle around you. But the problem is it's not wide enough to get everyone. You'll have to walk into the smaller guys, push them in towards the cluster of big guys. It's not easy to do as you largely slide right off them. You also have to avoid being tagged. It may be easier to hold R1 to lock onto each guy you're shoving. So you like, bring them all together and then you do the old whip around move with the stick. Pretty cool one. Uh, challenge match six, break all the weapons before time runs out. There are a bunch of things to pick up in the office. 
simply use the square attack to swing all of them and hit the enemies. Don't use heat actions with the items because you'll risk killing the guys before you can get the rest of the stuff broken. Challenge match 7. Defeat all enemies within the time limit and without breaking equipment. So the S rank for this is 2 minutes remaining. You'll have 3 weapons in your arsenal and you must always have a weapon out. You'll start with a stun gun so use that to soften them up. Switch to the hammer and make sure you get everyone in your hits. If you get heat, use a heat action to cause a major loss of health. Uh, if left with the Tomfa, simply wait for wild swings, slip behind and hit them with repeated square attacks. Challenge match number 8. Defeat only enemies wearing red and the S rank is uh, with 3 minutes remaining. There are 5 enemies wearing red and they have higher health bars. Uh, focus your attacks entirely on the guys in red. Fortunately the enemies aren't difficult. Careful with heat actions because you don't want an errant essence of terror to take out a guy in black. This isn't too difficult, consider throwing enemies in red away from the crowd so you can separate them. Challenge match number 9, catch ultimate Mac. S rank is within 1 minute. Yep, one last chase battle with Mac and it is brutal. On the first street, instead of following you straight, go on the sidewalk to the right, cut some distance. It'll give you a leg up on him. If you can't tag him once by the time you pass the orange taxi, I suggest restarting. Once you get him once, though, it tends to be easy him again. So be familiar with the course and do your best to avoid pedestrians who can really wreck your run randomly. Challenge match number 10, the final one. Defeat all enemies within 5 seconds of taunting. So you have to keep taunting and attacking at the same time, it's crazy. S rank is less than 300 damage taken. As the challenge suggests, you taunt. And then you must taunt again within 5 seconds to keep the challenge going. You have all the time you need to win, just avoid getting struck too much. Do not use heat actions as the clock does not stop. Don't pick up any weapons either, as it just wastes time. Focus on the heavy guy first, as he tends to be the most disruptive. Also, instead of taunting, consider holding down R2 after a combo for a split second. Golden Dragon. Uh, you get out of it easier than a normal taunt, and don't have to face the enemy to use it. And those are all the challenge matches done, so thank you very much for watching. Peace out, I'll see you next time.
Sit <laughs> 